Following the safety concern on Frogmore, Harry is informed that there are plenty of rooms in Windsor Castle. Exclusive, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been instructed to leave Frogmore Cottage, according to a spokesperson for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Even if they lose Frogmore Cottage, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will still have a secure place to stay while visiting Britain, according to a royal historian. On Wednesday night, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced that they have been asked to leave their official residence in the UK. King Charles is said to have given the order in response to the release of Prince Harry's book Spare. Taking away the Sussexes police protected Windsor home, according to Omid Scobie, would deprive Meghan and Harry of the one remaining space that meets the family of four's security needs when visiting, he claimed in an unofficial biography of the couple. Marlene Kennig, a royal historian, disagreed with this view, claiming that Meghan, Harry, and their children could find refuge in other royal residences while visiting the UK. The American commentator said to Express. Co. UK, I find Harry's statement that Frogmore Cottage is the only place left that's safe to be odd. Why? There are plenty of rooms at Windsor Castle where they could stay if they choose to come to the UK. Ms. Kennig refrained from using the word eviction, explaining the Crown Estate owns the property rather than the King or Meghan and Harry. She said, this means Harry's lease was with the Crown Estates, same for Royal Lodge, Adelaide Cottage, Fort Belvedere and many other properties in Windsor, small and large. Moreover, the commentator added, in May 2022 it was claimed that Duke had extended his lease on the Windsor property, believed to be a 12-month rolling deal. If this is the case, last year's lease will expire within weeks. Meghan and Harry lived at Frogmore for the most part of 2019, and it's been the first-ever home of their son Archie Harrison, born in May that year. The Duke and Duchess flew to Canada with Archie in mid-November 2019 and had not since used Frogmore Cottage as their main residence, as they relocated to California in mid-March 2020. However, they kept Frogmore Cottage as their permanent home in England, and they made it their base when they visited again in 2021-2022. While attending two events honoring the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June of last year, Meghan and Harry are rumored to have left Archie and Lilibet Diana at the cottage with a nanny. On June 4, they also hosted their daughter's first birthday celebration. The Sussexes now do not automatically receive police protection and privacy when they travel to the UK because the cottage is situated in the exclusive home park neighbourhood. The representative for Meghan and Harry simply verified the rumour that they had been asked to leave the house. But, Mr Scobie also cited sources as saying the Sussexes were stunned when they learned they would lose Frogmore Cottage soon after the release of Harry's autobiography Spare. The property, they were told, is needed for someone else, he said on Yahoo News. Sources tell me that the news has shocked Harry and Meghan and appalled at least two members of the royal family. According to The Sun, the someone else is Prince Andrew, who is allegedly having his subsidy reduced as a result of a review of royal expenses. This development would make it challenging for the Duke of York to pay for the upkeep of Royal Lodge. Andrew is apparently resisting the notion of moving into Frogmore Cottage, though. The £212,000 dazzling engagement ring worn by Queen Camilla is shrouded in mystery. What kind of engagement ring does Queen Camilla, 75, wear? She has been wed to the king for 18 years. Prior to her marriage to King Charles in 2005, Camilla, the Queen Consort, also known as Camilla Parker Bowles, received one of the most coveted royal engagement rings. According to Google Trends, the five-carat, Emerald cut diamond with baguettes on the side receives 800 searches annually. Jewelry Box's marketing manager, Dana Barrowman, spoke with Express. Co. UK.